Uh, so right now is a great time to make sure that your cell phones are all um, It's been a while since we've seen this next artist at Hughes Room uh, in this capacity since 2011 when she released her album The Emerald City. We're really excited to have this multi-talented artist here on our stage again. She has her art in the back. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me Melanie Dome.
Well, my goodness, this is a very full house indeed. Thank you for being here. I'm, uh, I'm really, I'm really glad I could get a sitter. I'm so happy. I can miss this. Um, we're really excited to play for you tonight, and um, just before um, we get going and I introduce everyone, uh, a few safety concerns. Um, probably some of you remember this incident, but you know it gets pretty rowdy at my gates, and um, there was a mosh pit at the last one, and and you know as usual. And there were some injuries, so I just want to say safety first, everyone, okay? And relax and have fun, but you know, play it safe and, and just maybe save the mosh pit till the second half. So, Mike B is here. Dennis Mohammed is here. We haven't had the pleasure of playing with Dennis for a while, so it's really exciting to have him here, Dennis. This is my brother Creighton Doan. Right here. And more about them later. So we're gonna play some more tunes. It goes like this.
Thank you. Do we have any Maritimers in the audience? Nice. Welcome. This song comes from the East Coast. Actually, to be technically correct, this isn't a song from the Maritimes at all, but still wanted to know. It's from, uh, it's from Newfoundland, and you know that Newfoundlanders are very particular that they are not part of the Maritimes. So, they are part of the East Coast, but not. Am I correct? Or Canada, even at all. Well, or Canada. <laughs> Well, they, they feel differently about the Upper Canadians for sure, but we sometimes have more of a, you know, camaraderie. Anyway, this one does come from Newfoundland. You've probably heard it before.
Okay, I think we got that. My contraption. Let go. It's okay. Here's a really old one uh, we haven't done for a while. So um, anyone who's got some of those albums that were made back in, you know, the 60s. Back in, in, 90, in the 90s, you might remember some of this song as well. I'd like to do a song from um, 
most recent recording called Emerald City, and uh, it's a song that Mike played on and that I actually wrote with my brother, so uh, some of you have heard it. We did a really neat video for it last year. Some of the people that worked on the video are here tonight, so thank you all for that, and um, you've heard the song, most of you who have been uh, coming to shows, but I wanted to do it tonight, and I thought I might mention a little bit about, you know, some of the, the background of songwriting when, uh, you know, the mystique behind the songwriting, and really with this one, the title is, um, The More I Know, The Stupider I Am, and uh, yeah, uh, so Creighton and I were working hard on, on, on a session, and we were really coming up with ideas, and then um, you know, I said, you're stupid, and then um, and he said, no, you're really stupid, and then I said, you're so stupid, and then I think you said, I'm going to call mom. <laughs> I think he said that, and then I said, no, you're not. You remember that part? And then we were like, it's a song. So if you're ever wondering, you know, how does this magic happen? It's pretty much it. Just, you know, you just gotta set aside the time and get in the room and do it. So that's proof for you right there. <laughs> Thank you. It goes like this, and now, now you'll think it's just a joke song, but that's okay. No, I'm stupid. so stupid. Except we could tell them how I did that on the last song, so then you don't have to feel bad.
fun to keep doing this for a lot of years because you end up with lots of songs and um, sometimes the songs change a little bit as you go and sometimes the meaning of them changes as you play them which is pretty interesting as you grow older. I find that quite, quite cool. This song I wrote uh, quite a few years ago and um, at the time I was thinking about my sister. She was having a hard time with a relationship and then later I used to sing it to my record company they used to bug me quite a bit too. <laughs> so uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's a good one for you for something that you uh, need to get off your chest. You can use it whenever. <laughs> You're a fraction of the man you used to be. Everything I thought you were was what I wanted to see. Things just don't add up anymore. I just couldn't see it before. But it's time to follow my own path. You do my Thank you. 
Oh dear, I, I, some controversy has been sparked in the audience, I think. <laughs> Hang in there. There's more songs, you never know what, what could happen. Uh. Um. Oh, hi, Mike. <laughs> this is a song that, um, well, it's kind of interesting, actually. I wrote it for my mom because we don't often say thank you to our moms and I I wrote it in my 20s and I felt like uh, I had a lot of things to say to her but I didn't ever find that moment you're always doing dishes or some chore or something or you're getting on each other's nerves or something like that and um, I wrote the song for her and I was I was excited but I was nervous about it and the funny thing about it was that she was so unused to hearing that kind of you know a thank you of some kind but she didn't actually get get it at first. <laughs> I know, it's, it's kind of, I had to say, well, did you, could you hear, did you like the song? And she's, oh, I, it sounded very pretty. <laughs> and it wasn't her fault at all. She never, it, she never imagined that it would be something for her. So I thought that was really amazing. And, um, you know, she, she really likes it now. So that's good too. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do it for you. And Mike's gonna play with me. Debbie, I'm just going to get a little of my voice in, in my ear for, for this. That would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Are you guys having a fun time? 